Hi friends, we'll continue learning our uh, pillow or python imaging library in this. Now we'll draw some uh, lines, rectangles, circles, arcs and all. So let's just first see how this uh, sample codes works. So here we are just drawing a line here and multiple lines we are drawing using for loops. So at equal distance you can see the lines and different colors are used for horizontal or vertical also. Now next one here it is and it's a more lines will draw keeping a constant gap here using the for loops. So it's like our graph sheet. So where uh, several lines are drawn using a for loop. Now let's just move to uh, rectangles here. Let's first create a border around a image. So here it is maintaining the equal gap. Now in the one more will uh, try to create uh, multiple rectangles having a common center and these colors are are uh, randomly picked up so next time I, I close this pick up again run again i will get the different set of colors for these lines so this is how the rectangles will create it now then again let's just create a arc so this is a simple arc and using the same principle will also create lot of uh, concentric circles having different different colors. So this color also is randomly picked up. So I, if I will close this and start again the different set of colors will be picked up randomly. So we will learn all about this. We will start from here. This is the blank python file. So from pil import we are importing image as well as we'll import image draw also so we'll say image draw so these two we are using now here is the path where the my file will be uh, created or finally i'll be saving so this is in your case it will change so now two variables i am declaring width and height so this two variables i am fixing it 200 200 so width is 200 height is 200 now image object equal to image dot new this is a new image so rgb is format then i am telling what is the size of it this has to be a tuple so here i am writing it width height so this tuple i am variable that is why i have declared the variable so color what is should be the color of it i am just again using the uh, that light yellow f1 f1 cc fine this is the hex code i have used to give that light yellow color background now image one equal to now image draw now this i am using because i have at the first line we have imported this so draw now draw we are creating the object of it so image created now this will be using it so now let's draw a horizontal line so for that we'll say image one dot line sorry line now inside that first the line should be starting point ending point two will be there so starting point and i have to put it inside a list but in the coordinates has to be in a tuple so uh, starting point left x and y coordinates are I am making it see it's a horizontal line I am drawing so x has to be 0 because it's it has to start from the uh, left border so 0 and what should be my uh, y position so if it is middle of the height wise I am taking half because it is uh, 200 is the height so I am giving 100 now where did the line should end it should cross the entire uh, width so i have to, it has to start from 200 and it has to reach end at a y position should be 100 because half of the height it has to come so that's all now i have given the size here now what should be the fill fill means what should be the line color i am giving it blue i can give hex code also now what it should be the width of it width is 2 i can thick line if i want i will increase this value so its width is 2 now joint what should be the end it is curve fine this is let's see this whether this gives me a horizontal line or not now be i'll just make image so note that here i have created the object assigned our values to it then original image i am saying so it saving this now let's run and see 
sorry it is my earlier one this is the one this one is my horizontal line starting half of it so the position of what i have taken it here let me close this background yeah so you can see this uh, starting from zero this is leftmost is zero height wise it is at 200 then second point end point is 200 uh, x coordinate so horizontal it is 200 end and height wise half so total height is 200 so it is ending at 100 we'll add the vertical line so copy i am just copying this line <coughs> pasting it here now second vertical so here the coordinates only i will change so for that vertical i will make it 100 because vertical line means it should be half position of the uh, horizontal width so 100 it will start so for vertical and it will be y position will be zero start beginning will be at the top now it will be 100 just imagine what the how the coordinates will be 200 so these two lines now this is the horizontal i'll write here now here second one is this one is vertical now let me save this running you can see yeah two lines one horizontal and one vertical now let's uh, comment these two lines <coughs> now let's cross one cross from top to uh, top left to bottom right and opposite also so for that let me just <coughs> copy these two again pasting it here now here i'll remove this the coordinates are starts from 0 0 top left is 0 0 0 always and this is 200 200 200 and this will be 200 now this is one line from the top left to bottom now next one i'll uncomment this it will start from 0 200 <coughs> 0 and here 200 so 0 200 now next will be 200 and 0 just think on how this line should cross let's run this and see yeah, here you can see two cross let's add border on all four sides so we'll need four lines for that next we'll replace it with a rect uh, rectangle so for right now we are using the so it starts from 10 10 the top 10 and here it is 10 so ends with 190 10 so 190 and here it is 10 next line this is the horizontal top so next line this also i will put it here now 190 10 this should be 190 and 10 so i am giving the gap of 10 actually then 190 190 this is the bottom x right co coordinate 190 fine now the third one this is the horizontal at the bottom so what is 190 now then it is one uh, okay 190 190 it starts from there so you can see where it ends the next line starts from there and ends at 10 190 so here it is 10 and here it is 190 now the last one is vertically right side so for that it is 10 and 190 190 then it comes our end point is 10 10 so it will reach the end point 10 10 so save it and i'm running this yeah you can see all four sides the borders have come we'll draw lines inside a loop for loop so first we'll draw a set of uh, vertical lines then we'll move to horizontal lines so for that uh, let me just increase the width and height these variables values will we are changing so up to this point is okay now here i am image object is also created now this bottom three lines are not required because this particular line will keep it inside a for loop so here for i in range 0 for sorry here i have to i in range now i'll start from 0 then go up to width whatever the variable width we have set it that is right now it is 400 so and in a step of 50 so for that let's come here sorry r a 
n g range okay now here we'll draw the line inside the loop here some changes we'll do we'll take i value here but we'll remove a tuple now we'll go for only using a list here so we can that way also the first two will be the xy coordinate of the start point and next xy will be end point xy so here it is we are starting at i comma zero so this is the our starting point now okay one more okay now because uh, it should start zero because always the it starts from the top so y position will be zero always now next end point will be again the i i will take next value next value and it will end at height what's the height because it has to go bottom mode so it's a vertical line now let's keep the fill as blue width is also let's keep it as two curve okay now this will write it as vertical okay for our identification now let's just see whether it is vertical lines are drawn or not we will, yeah here you can see all the vertical lines with a gap of 50 it is the 50 gap is there that is drawn now let's add to these horizontal lines so for that what you will do we'll just copy this line one more for loop this time we'll use another variable j so we are saying j in the here j in range this width will change it to height here in fact both the width and height we kept value for but if you have a different say it's not a square then there will be issue so height is taken here then the line is drawn line starting point these are all horizontal lines so it starts from zero here ends with j and here it will say width and ends with j now for our easy identification let's change the color to red and let the width be there so zero then j then width then j just imagine it it, it is a set of uh, colors by horizontal lines so we will return, return it here now let's run this and see how this looks here it is so you can see the vertical lines and the horizontal lines instead of drawing lines at 50 let's reduce it to 5 both horizontal and vertical and uh, every 10th line should have a double the thickness and so be, otherwise it is uh, have one so for that how we'll know what is the 10th one so for that we'll say if i modulus this is the reminder uh, after division what is balance is left so i divided by 50 if it is means 5 then 10 like that it will move so 10th line will have be 50 so after 10th line equal to this reminder of this division is 0 then then you can do this means you keep the width is 2 fine now else suppose I am just copying this now here else if it is not so then you keep the width as one so every tenth line will have a sorry this should be one here so every tenth line will have one and this the same thing i will do it here also for the uh, horizontal lines so for here if j j modulus 50 equal to uh, zero means it's divisible by 50 then bring it here image lines okay rest of the thing will be same fill red width uh, initially the width is two so thicker one now let me copy this here i am writing else again pasting this but this time i will reduce the width to one so let's just see now we'll have a more lines because the gap is we have taken to instead of 50 it is 5 so let's just see see here so this is now more multiple lines 555 five, five gaps and moment it reaches 50 the thickness increases next 555 five, five, like that 10 times then the 10th line means after 10 that is 20th line 20th line will have higher thickness we'll add rectangle now so we'll remove all this up to this lines are not required so 
imaged uh, image draw object is created now here we will start first for a rectangle we need a box means top left top left coordinate and bottom right coordinate these two coordinates we have to give and let's declare that as a list inside that we will keep a tuple size we are giving the variable name and here is the list and note that inside the first coordinate first coordinate is suppose we are giving 10 10 means top left 10 gap we are giving this is uh, the top uh, the coordinate at the top left now the bottom right so here instead of giving fixed value what i am saying width minus 10 because total width minus 10 now again height minus 10 this width and height we have declared at line number 4 here at the top so this value minus 10 so this is now our sizes now this variable will use in uh, uh, creating our rectangle so image one dot rectangle now first thing is the rectangle i have to give a size so size i have given fill whether it is a uh, fill equal to none outline the outline color outline equal to blue we are giving fixed color here now what should be the width of it width is 2 now let's run this and see how this is here it is you can see 10 10 10 this is coordinates of this top left we have given 10 10 and here bottom right we have given what is the width minus 10 and height minus 10 instead of drawing one rectangle we'll keep it inside a for loop and multiple rectangles and each time we'll shrink the size by 10 or whatever value is there. so let's for that for i in range now what happens first we'll take zero then the width it is the end is the total width how much then step of 10 so first it will be zero then 10 20 like that it will go on incremental of 10 so 0 10 20 30 like that it will go so let, let me start the loop here the size i will change it instead of giving fixed here i will say i and y value is i because it's a height and width we kept it same now here i will say width minus i not 10 so every time this will have a different different value for the one so okay now this is you just see equally these coordinates are shrinking or it's coming down every loop one one step one one step it's coming down now that i am putting it here fill is none outline uh, blue let's give blue then we'll see width equal to two now image so fine so let's just see how this looks you can see here sorry i did some mistake here outline blue size is i width for i in range sorry this is has to be inside this fine inside the for loop let's run this again sorry again i did some mistake so it is another pattern it has created so let me just check it width minus i i width minus i height minus sorry here how one i this should be i here width minus i so that's all let's just see what way here you can see but all all the lines because the blue color we have used so all lines are let's give a random color how you will generate a random so for that i will just import a numpy for that import numpy as np what is numpy it, anyway it's a an, another it's a library very important library mathematical calculus and arrays mostly so there i can uh, i will use the random number so for that a purpose i'm just the one line only to generate the random number i am using it it's very easy to use that now i am giving a variable color which is equal to i am creating a tuple out of how i am creating it i am taking np now random dot choice now here what range i have to specify range i am giving is 256 256 why because rgb color the upper value is 256 how many random numbers i required i required three so i am giving size equal to three so three random numbers upper limit is 256 return that so that creates a tuple out of it then those three numbers uh, using this number uh, we created tuple and that 
we are bringing it here outline outline i am saying color because instead of using a fixed color a fixed one i am giving this so let's run this and see yeah you can see all are having different different set of colors now if i close this and run once more you will have it again a different because every time these random numbers are random colors are generated let's create arc so it, that same thing we can use for our uh, drawing circles also so this for loop right now will stop it because uh, same concept will use again so here uh, the our object is created now size again we'll create the size because when you get a arc uh, the entire periphery box it, it should be within a box and that dimension will create now so here in i am just again the same concept i'm using it uh, creating a tuple and keeping it inside a loop uh, inside a list width by 2 so i am it is a i am creating a circle at the center point of the image so by divide by 2 and minus 50 why i am telling minus 50 is this 50 is the from the center point top left of the box gap so minus 50 now then what is their height height by Two divide by two because height by two, width by two is the coordinates of the center point of the square. So height by two minus again fifty. So this I got it. Now top left uh, box top left is over. Bottom right is to be decided. So again the same thing width by two plus fifty. Now height by 2 plus 50 so this is what it is uh, the size is decided now using this size we will be creating arc now this arc what we are giving the first let's give the box that is the size now starting angle 3 o'clock position is the 0 so 3 o'clock in a clock 3 o'clock so 0 then 360 if i want a full circle i have to go 360 now should it be fill the fill is fill equal to now let me give red then the width width of the diameter or the sorry perimeter that uh, periphery of that one so width equal to so this is the width of the arc width equal to let me just give 20 now this is a because i have given here 0 to 360 so i'll get a full circle so let's just run this and see how much it is here you can see though it is a full circle now let me just close this come out to 180 see it is 0 and in the clockwise direction it has ending with 180 so that is why i am getting a half circle now let's what way we have started the rectangles now similarly we'll try to create multiple concentric circles let's add the for loop here for i in range now starting from zero till the width and in a step of 10 so inside this now here the size has to change now here now size will be i instead of width i will say uh, sorry this is what i am doing i comma i now this i will be give it to tuple so starts from the top uh, top left corner this is now here i will say width minus i with uh, minus i now again comma sorry comma is already there now height minus i now i have to close this put this and remove this so now i am giving a sorry list here with height okay so this list uh, this is what i am my dimension is now these i have to remove now this inside the loop this i value will keeps on changing so width minus i so the top right it will start from the outer 
box then it will come one sink it and it will reduce its size and come minus 10 minus 10 like that it will be moving now that i will use now inside the loop here it is image one arc the size starts from 0 to 360 i will 360 fill color but here again we'll do the sorry we will directly will go for our uh, random color uh, generations and width is let's reduce it to 11 why because it's a step of 10 so we are filling it so let's just fill that much only so here the random color will generate color equal to now it's external tuple we are generating inside the, this tuple how will np random this is a random choice now here the maximum value is range from 256 okay now how many we required we required rgb so size equal to 3 so based on this every time it will uh, one new tuple will be created with a different rgb value in the range of 0 to 256 there is a uh, the random one so this fill that color will be used so each time inside the for loop we will be getting a different different colors so so is there now i am saving this let's run and see how this looks here it is now you can see this color this colors are every time inside the first one note that the first the outer circle is drawn next in one minus then like that it comes but here let me close this and see once again i will run it you can see a different set of colors because every time the color this particular random rgb value is changing that's all friends so we'll stop all this uh, draws and all we have seen now image draw module we used and uh, next we'll move it to taking data from mysql database and create certificates randomly say you have to generate hundreds of certificates with each student having different different numbers and names and classes so how you will generate from a format we'll use a blank template format and take data from the table and go on creating on the fly the certificates that part we will learn next i'll request you please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we add new new tutorials we frequently do that also and if you have any doubt suggestions question use the comment section below to post it and please share this with your friends and thank you for watching